Blessings and welcome everyone. Just a reminder before we begin, your rising sign horoscope will give you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope may show up, and your moon sign horoscope will give you the less prominent side story that'll also be playing out for this two-week period. Remember, horoscopes serve best when observed, like a weather or traffic report. You have influence over all outcomes with your thoughts, actions, choices, and deeds. Use the information that presents to help you make the highest choices for the highest outcomes. If you wish to schedule any of my services or like access to more content via my Patreon, on, follow the links below or go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Hi there, Aries. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your week starting March 29th, 2021. And we're actually doing two passes. That's what I've actually decided to switch it up to, to do two passes. So you get two, so a yes and, this and this, this and this kind of reading. I Yes, I'm not appearing in these horoscopes, um, and that's something I just want to do because I'm looking at a ton of cards here, and I really don't want to be distracted by a camera. I want to focus on the cards. You can see me in other videos, like the uh, astrology video that I just put up because I moved, the, just for this week, the astrology portion to its own video because the full moon uh, is pretty involved. And so if you haven't already seen that yet, you can just follow the link in the down bar below or go to my main channel page and find that. I've also got a new monthly elemental energy report for spiritual practitioners, and you can check that out as well. And of course, the bonus astrology horoscope uh, report that I put up every week on Patreon is up as well, and you can see me in that as well. So, you know, that's just what we're doing here for the weeklies. So what is going on here when it comes to this week? How is this going to be playing up and playing it out throughout uh you know, the transition from March to April. Well, for your spiritual themes, you have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, both upright. And so this week is going to be all about getting things back under your control and into your care, while also paying attention to where things might be suffering due to entanglements, due to too many cooks in the kitchen, due to too many external energies involved in a lot of your goings on, paying attention to what's going on with your groups, with your teams, with your crew, as well as any kind of information or resource share that you may have going on. Where have things become too entangled for their own good, too involved for their own good? How do we turn that around and fix that for ourselves? That's a big focus of this week. The other one is actually all about independent success. The more you actually bring in to yourself, call back to yourself, start taking care of yourself, the more and more and more you are actually going to start generating in terms of your own prosperity, your own abundance, your own acclaim, your own good fortune, because we actually are seeing a lot of big breaks showing up th for you throughout this week, but you've got to be willing to actually go your own way and do it your own way and not necessarily rely so heavily on entanglements. Or if you're not relying on them, maybe not including them, right? Sometimes we have to pay attention to where cross-contamination of energy fields, cross-contaminations of auras, intentions, behavior can actually create a stop in growth. How do we get everyone's energy back where it belongs so that everyone can have the independent success they're already working for? As we get on to your material shifts, your work, your job, your finances, you've got the Ace of Swords upright and the Strength card upright. So you're actually going to be getting a lot of blessings when it comes to any financial, professional, you know, or maybe even practical priorities, even living situation priorities. Because with the Ace of Swords, you've actually got a green light this week. There is something getting greenlit, whether it is an application, a request, or possibly an opening that you didn't see a possible before. With the Ace of Swords, there is assistance, authorization, admission of, you know, all kinds of goodies that maybe you have either been seeking. Possibly this could be something that's coming down the pipeline um, you know, just out of nowhere, out of time and space. But I feel like this is something that uh, you would have been happy to have all along. And this is something that is opening up for you because with the Ace of Swords, there is allowance occurring. As we get on to the Strength card, I'm also seeing a new consistent and a new consistent and a new stable 
source of revenue or source of material security, material support coming your way. And with the strength card, I am feeling like there is longevity here. This is something that you can kind of count on uh, either on a week to week or a month to month basis, something that has added itself to your stack and something that is going to probably stay very much where it is for now with some room for growth later. But the cool thing with the strength card is there is that added uh, security. It is very well sustained and contained. And this is something that is, you know, again, it's something that you'll be able to play around with for the long term. It's going to definitely take care of itself most of the time. As we get on to your communications, community, friends, relatives, other people, well, you've got the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Emperor upright. And so this week with the Queen of Swords reversed, I am seeing a confrontation most likely coming up. And this is a confrontation with somebody that is obsessed with kind of reliving the past, keeping their wounds open. Somebody who kind of lives their, their, their pain, lives their suffering, lives their drama, lives their bitterness and jadedness. And I kind of feel like this is one of those moments where we have to pay attention to, okay, is this trash that's in the house? Or is this something that we need to be able to clean out for better success, right? You can't actually go and meet your destiny when you're filled and surrounded by people that insist on reliving their history or sharing their pain by making other people go through it. And you might have to draw a line in the sand. When it comes to the emperor, you're out also, however, rising up in prominence, rising up in authority, rising up in leadership. People are starting to respect you more and give you a lot more authority, a lot more, maybe, I don't want to say control, but certainly a lot more power and influence over, um, you know, a friendship circle, a family unit, or maybe a crowd that you're involved in. And with the emperor card, I'm also seeing a lot of people in positions of power actually giving their per the perks of that power, sharing the perks of the power they have with you to secure further upward mobility in your life this week. As we get on to your challenge or your challenges, well, your first card is the Ten of Pentacles upright. We don't really have an overarching day-to-day -day challenge showing up this week. In fact, with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm actually seeing a lot of you Aries people, if you're challenged to do anything, is to make sure that you are working with the energies that are presenting this week and not just letting them pass you by. You're challenged to make good things last. It's like I always say about manifestation and attraction. Any idiot can manifest or attract anything, but it really takes skill and understanding of vibration, alchemy, peace, and balance, you know, to make sure that you maintain it, right? It's about, it's not about just getting something. It's about knowing how to have it and keep it. And the Ten of Pentacles is indicating here, yeah, a lot of you are going to be put in a position where not only are you receiving a lot of good, forth, good fortune and abundance, your only challenge is to make sure that you secure it so that it stays in your space, maintaining that harmony and that beauty and peace. As we get on to your challenge this week with the world reversed as that second challenge, you have something going on where you have old business to recover. I do not think it's bad old business. I think it's actually something that could be very positive, but maybe you don't necessarily think it's positive. Maybe it's something that you're a little bit concerned um, because it kind of takes you to a place or it reminds you of a time in your life that you don't want to go back to. Don't let the negative situation obscure cloud or color your perception of the positive uh, that we may have lost over that. You know, sometimes people are afraid to recover good things because they associate the good thing with the bad thing that happened after or the bad thing that took it away. Well, with the world card reversed, we have a chance to get back something that we lost. So long as we're not afraid of recovering something from our past, you know, we can't run forever. There are treasures that belong to us that we may have left by the roadside. As we get on to your relationships with love, romance, partnerships, you have the Hierophant card in reverse. 
And it looks like a lot of you are actually getting a chance to do relationships, do romance a completely new way. Because with the Hierophant reversed, I'm seeing a lot of you single Aries people getting a chance to engage with a type of relationship or a type of person that you've never actually been able to jump in with both feet. Something that may be a bit foreign to you, something that may seem a bit experimental to you, but it shows a lot of promise. For those of you who are currently coupled, well, when it comes to the Hierophant card reversed, I see you guys changing up your entire relationship dynamic to be something that actually fits the both of you and all concerned. Because what's happening with the Hierophant card reversed is that we're breaking away from some kind of convention uh, that maybe has, has been another unnecessary or unpleasant inclusion in this relationship, whether it's something that we kept trying to do that wasn't good for us, kind of like that full moon and Libra energy, or it was something that was imparted onto us, something we were trained to do, taught to do, expected to do, you know, tradition, family, peer pressure, yada, yada. Whatever it is, it can go. As we get on to the second card, you know, the other relationship development going on this week, we've got the Eight of Wands upright. And I'm seeing fast developments in the direction of uh, something that is actually okay to maybe speed up or, or engage more with more consistently. A lot of you who are currently coupled are going to be finding that your relationship goal or a goal that you're holding for your family or something that you guys have wanted to do, you're actually making a lot more progress towards it this week. In fact, you may actually find that something that you even set out further into the future, right, setting it way down the timeline, is actually coming quite quickly into your life faster than you could have uh, maybe estimated. And for those of you who are currently single and looking, I'm also seeing a lot of you getting a lot of options this week, a lot of romantic options that are very, very vocal, very, very engaged, and you're allowed to have fun with it. I would definitely let myself experience a bit of that popularity, you know, being celebrated, being sought for, you know, you know, in, for engagement in that way. The Eight of Wands and that Hierophant card reversed, it's going to be a great love week. So that's what I've got for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because you know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.